What's up there guys? Guy with a Karen23 and welcome to uh, this long-awaited, uh, requested uh, Blu-ray collection overview. Now on my last Blu-ray uh, update I had two or three people um, asking me when they were going to see a Blu-ray collection overview. I promised it a while ago and to be honest I did actually film um, a collection overview a few weeks ago but since then I've kind of changed stuff around and um, everything is in one place whereas before some things were in uh, a different room. Uh, so yeah, this isn't going to be uh, in depth or anything, so I'd literally be here for like two hours explaining everything. Uh, I think about, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, I did a uh, kind of an in-depth one, kind of showing like uh, um, A to Z kind of uh, different shelves and stuff. I'm not going to do that this year. Um, I could have done, but um, to be honest, I was going to do it to kind of coincide with two years on YouTube, but I kind of uh, got the timing wrong, so it was just kind of... Just easier to do like a just a collection overview instead. So first, I'm going to give a very very quick scan over stuff, so you can kind of see how much I have. And then it continues on the next shelf, or the next bookcase even. Then all those are DVDs which I won't get into. Uh, I might do a kind of separate video for those, but for now, it's just Blu-rays. So yeah, we start off with uh, TV, going from uh, Marvel. I can't. I just put it under A for Agents of, Agents of Shield. I'm not into like, Marvel stuff. Uh, kind of American Horror Story. These are film and TV box sets, by the way. Uh, they've got the uh, the very, well, not exactly rare, but quite expensive uh, Band of Brothers Pacific box set, which I'm never going to get rid of. Uh, could get the steel tins, but there's not much point. Uh, Battle Royale, that's quite rare now. Uh, Betty Blue, also Bourne Collection. Uh, got some random TV, like kind of one TV series. Got the uh, US uh, Deadwood set, kind of Derek Die Hard, the Friends. Uh, Box set, uh, yeah, I, could, I should have really waited to get that because it's quite cheaper now. Uh, then we have uh, the full series of Fringe, one of my favourite, sci well, my favourite sci-fi show, one of my favourite shows of all time. And Game of Thrones, uh, kind of uh, Generation Kill, some uh, uh, random HBO shows, Lord of the Ring, got both the theatrical and extended editions of Lord of the Rings. Then the complete series of Lost, uh, Matrix, uh, Misfits, one of my favourite shows as well. And then. It continues. I'm on Family, which is kind of annoying because they're not bringing that out, out, they're not bringing that out on Blu-ray anywhere in the world anymore, which is annoying because I'm refused to buy the DVDs. Kind of uh, this, the region-free uh, versions of uh, seasons five, six, and seven of The Office still get to see, still need to get season eight. I think there's one after after that. I think kind of Peaky Blinders, uh, complete Saw box set. Also did my uh, thing and a couple of uh, random uh, Blu-rays I just haven't had, uh, I just haven't put into the collection yet uh, that were in my last update. Uh, Sopranos box set again. I could have really waited because um, it's in the uh, Amazon Lightning deals this year for I think it was uh, sixty quid. I paid, but I didn't pay too much. I think I paid like seventy-five. I think so. It wasn't too bad. Uh, so I saw Schindler's List, uh, Screen Spy Kids, uh, the Tarantino double X box set. Uh, to kneel down here. Now I do apologise for the light. There's a window right behind me, so the uh, sun is quite virulent. virulent so uh, it's going to be coming through quite a bit. Then we have uh, Twilight, which I still haven't seen any of those films. Then we have seasons one to four, The Twilight Zone, uh, always so expensive. Then Twin Peaks and the Utopia. There again, screwed up the release of that of the series at least. Then we have V, The Walking Dead. Uh, what, now the reason I don't have a uh, I only have season four there is because um, I have the steel books which are downstairs and the world at war and the last box set is the X-Men box set now I was going to get rid of that X-Men box set but um, it is uh, quite expensive to get so I thought I'd keep on to it, hold on to it for now and if it kind of does drop in price I can always get rid of it okay, I have to think uh, the second and the third films on the steel book anyway then of course uh, that could, oh, it just finishes with X-Men for first class uh, so yeah, then we get on to the uh, regular Amores. Got some uh, obviously Region B and Region A uh, versions, uh, kind of Region Three versions in one. Could have put them separately, but there's no point in doing that. Uh, so yeah, there's a few, some horrors, some comedies. Uh, quite a few I haven't actually haven't actually watched. Uh, some I haven't, some I've never actually seen. Uh, some I have kind of some of the uh, some of the ones I have seen the film, but I just haven't watched it on Blu-ray. Kind of audition, Austin Powers 1, 2, and 3. And then got some Batman animated. Uh, I mean, on the way, I might pick out uh, certain titles of note, maybe. Uh, but I don't know if I will. And that's that shelf. So I've got to uh, 
There we go. Uh, yeah, I've kind of starts with Bronson, kind of put into C, yeah, so I can see a bit more there. Uh, Chef, really good film that. Uh, Coleman's World, very very underrated documentary. Love that one. There's CSI. So I'm not going to uh, explain every title because it'd be take it too long. Mm. There we go. Kind of enough say enemy, which I still haven't seen yet, but I'll probably wait till um, the UK release comes out in February. And I'll probably uh, flog that. A few good men. Got some uh, kind of low budget British films there. Got a fracture at the end there. Then the next bit. It's like it's one it's one kind of shelf, but I've put it in uh, two lots because it just uh, saves some space. Uh, so yeah, this kind of starts with a full Monty. Funny people, funny games. Uh, that is a ghost ship, by the way. And you got French edition. Uh, Goodwill Hunting, which I haven't watched on Blu-ray yet, but I've seen a few years ago. Uh, yeah, trying to go as slowly as possible, but uh, also not exactly really slow at the same time. Uh, Home Alone 1 and 2, Hook. Mm, ID in between his movie. I refuse to buy the sequel on Blu ray because it is, I'm not going to get into why, but anyway, at the end, not you, not you can kind of see, but that is uh, Jingle All the Way and Johnny English. Then we go to the next shelf. Oh, my legs are really hurting. Uh, yeah, we've got the next shelf, kind of Jumanji, which I can actually get rid of now because I've uh, ordered the Steelbook finally, it came back in stock. Uh, yeah, a few of these I can actually kind of get rid of now that I'm getting the steelbook of. There are actually a couple that I've actually taken out already. Kind of last horror film, last house on the left. Yeah, into L's. Martha Martha's Made of Arlene, extremely underrated film. And the Mist, Moneyball, Mr. Nice. A couple of Muppets. Uh, uh, um, I thought they were region free, but the uh, UK version. And my brother, the Devil. My name is Bruce. Kind of Ned's again some British films, some horror films, some kind of drama films. Uh, the Orphanage, other guys, Outlaw, Out of the Furnace, which is the region A version. Um, Outrage, Pain and Gain, Pathology, Perks of Being a Wallflower, and Pie. So yeah, that is the end of that bookcase. So up we go to this bookcase. Now you may uh, notice on the front, I've got a few. Uh, I'm out, of, I'm out of breath. Um, some uh, plain archive releases and uh, the Seven Samurai Criterion, which is still the best Blu ray in my collection. And then some, yeah, so it's uh, Melancholy Standard Edition. Then at the back of this, we've got uh, the Wrestler uh, Amory, uh, kind of slip box version. Then we have uh, King of Pigs, then Blue's Warmest Colour, and uh, that's the end of it. <laughs> so yeah, pop these down here for now. Very, very carefully. Do not want to damage them. So yeah, we go on to the next bookcase, which starts off with Pineapple Express. I need to watch that again because when I first saw it, I wasn't that enamoured with it really. But uh, I'll, I, will, I will, I will watch it again sometime. Uh, you have Pompeii again. Some of these I can get, I can, can kind of get rid of because I'd never watch them again. Um, also, I never want to get rid of a Blu-ray that I've never watched because it's just not not something I want to do. Because one of the obvious reasons, if I get rid of a film, I don't watch it. And I find that it's very, very good. Kind of getting annoyed that I sold it. We have Rambo, which is the uh, US. The one thing that kind of annoyed me about that Rambo is uh, on the US Blu-ray, it only it only uh, contains the uh, well, the director's cut, whatever it is, which isn't as good. I don't think um, these kind of scenes are moved around, which I don't appreciate really. We have a sorry, I'm really out of breath. Huh? <laughs> okay, quarantine. If I can get a bit closer there. Zoom in a bit, there we go. Uh, rendition, Road Trip, Robots, The Rocker, ro Rock and Roller, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Again, what I can get rid of because I've got the Steelbook now. Role Models, Rover, Rubber, Rubber Ruby Spark, Rum Diary, Rum Why I Run. Then we go to the S's. Then Skin Ruby 1 to 4. I know the four, fourth one is absolute rubbish, but I kind of have a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, scenic Route, which got a stupid, stupid UK. Uh, uh, retitle as Wrecked, even though there was an Adrian Brody film with the same title that came out like, maybe like three years ago, which still boggles my mind why they did that. 
and Scum, the Sessions, Sex Drive, Shame, Shell, Shifty, Shutter Island, Sideways, Silent Hill. Uh, now you probably noticed that um, the S's are probably uh, the letter that I have most Blu-rays of. It's, it's always the way, it's always been with DVDs, it's just most things begin with S. It's nothing really can leave your plan really. And Silent Hill, Sin City, Sket, uh, Sling Blaze, Snakes on the Pain, Snatch, Snowtown, Social Network, So I, so I Married an Axe Murder, very underrated Mike Myers comedy. Uh, Summers Town, Son of Rambo and Sound City. Then we go to the next or underneath uh, this uh, on the same shelf but underneath we have Source Code, Southern Tales, Spider-Man 123, uh, Spike Island, Splinter, again I'm not going to go through all of them but uh, kind of reel some of them off. Kind of St George's Day, Stitches, Stoker, uh, Super Mario Bros which I, re I, w I actually really quite liked actually. Uh, Svengali, uh, St. T. New York, my favourite films of all time. Terminator 1 and 2. Still haven't seen Terminator 2. I know people are going to shout at me why I haven't seen it yet. I just haven't seen the first one. I really, really like that, but I need to watch it again because it was quite a, quite a while ago. Then we have them. Hot Eel. And then uh, 13 Ghosts and stuff like that. Yeah, so we're on to the T's now. Triangle, Trick or Treat, Troll Hunter. Uh, some of these don't actually have a blue release in the UK yet, like Trick or, Trick or Treat uh, is only on DVD. Um, and of course, the uh, obviously the, now the uh, Canadian slip is one of the rarest slip covers in existence, or not in existence, as the case may be. Upstream Colour, Urban Legend, Wallace and Gromit, uh, Warm Bodies, War of the Worlds, Watchmen, Wayne's World One and Two. Wayne's World, I think Wayne's World might be one of my, might be my favourite comedy of all time. I haven't decided yet. Uh, Wee Man, Welcome to the Rileys, uh, Willy Wonka, Chocolate Factory, Win Win, and World War Z, which is the same as exclusive. So that is that couple of shelves, or that shelf, and those few. And then the last few kind of uh, alphabetical Blu-rays got Wrinkles, Wrong, Wrong Turn. I kind of got rid of Wrong Turn too because it, I didn't particularly like it that much. It's just not a very good film. Uh, wrong Turn 3 and 5, I think. Yeah, and 5. Um, yep. Yeah. And then we have Your Next. Uh, your Sister's Sister and Zach and Miri and Zach and Miri make a porno. So, yeah, that is all the... Um, the uh, alphabetical Blu-ray, so yeah, get a quick scan again. Uh, there we have it. Not cut, well, quite sure why I'm scanning them again, but there we go. <laughs> and then there we have it again, and again, and those few. And then we go on to the uh, the artificial eye releases, uh, starting from number one. I haven't, obviously, I haven't got all of them. Because I'm still kind of trying to, still trying to kind of work out which ones I need and which ones I can get readily. Because I know uh, Chunking Express is very expensive and quite rare now. I think and there's kind of box sets which uh, kind of uh, have like the box set has one uh, spine number, whereas the individual individual releases have different ones. So, um, but it seems stupid to kind of uh, buy them separately, then buy them in the box set. So I'll probably have to get the box set. They have Lurie's Berlin, which is number one, Waltz of Bashir, Ashes of Time Redux, uh, Hidden, Satoichi, uh, White Ribbon, uh, Zidane, 21st Century Portrait, uh, Katian, Double Life of Veronique, Fish Tank, Lourdes, Vincia, uh, White Material, Certified Copy, Winter's Bone, this is the uh, the first uh, print, uh, Gods and Men, Root Irish, Essential Killing, 13 Assassins, Agents of Evil, Melancholia, Separation, The Big Picture, when you talk about Kevin. Wuthering Heights, Deep Blue Sea, Fallen Angel, Babette's Feast, Kid with a Bike, Woman in the Fifth, Michael, Trishna, uh, Le Havre, Forced, uh, Elds, or L, sorry, uh, Goodbye First Love, Turin Horse, Free Men, La Ceremonie, Ai Weiwei, uh, Never Sorry, uh, Etre et Avoir, To Be and To Have, uh, The Hunter, Winter's Bone, which is the, uh, the uh, re, well, the repressing, I don't know what, what to call it really, uh, Bavarian Sound Studio, 360, uh, Holy Motors, Amour, What Richard Did, then we have Law, Great Beauty, Selfish Giant, Blue is the Warmest Colour, Bastards, and lastly, Nymphomaniac Volumes 1 and 2. So yeah, I actually kind of aim to get every, um, last thing you might know, I aim to get every single Artificial Eye release. Uh, still missing, it, as I said, that's yeah, kind of an annoying thing, we're kind of not, keep it, not kind of uh, keeping up on them, is you kind of get just like random holes in the collection, then you have to kind of like, find out which uh, catalogue number is which film, then you have to find out kind of the cheapest way to get it, it's just not easy to do. And then we go into the uh, Curzon Film World releases. We have A Late Quartet, The Weekend, Breathe In, Where Mr. Baker, Stories We Tell, What Amazing You and Frank. 
So yeah, there are all the uh, artificial eye releases I have. And also there's uh, another uh, random one here, which I just have, which I kind of uh, found uh, under my bed, which I uh, <laughs> honestly I don't know how it got there. Um, so this is Orlando, which is number 26. So I'll put that back there. And also uh, with the uh, kind of the Amarays as well, I did have a How to Train Your Dragon, but I'm getting the steel look of that, so that's why I took it out of the collection. But I do have it, but I didn't really need to show it because it's not going to be in my collection for much longer. Uh, I think it's coming out this. I think steel was coming out this year, but I could be wrong about that. And then we go on to the Criterions. Definitely my uh, well, apart from Artificial Eye, uh, my favourite um, kind of company distribution. I don't know what kind of what to call them. Then we have. Okay, Jimbo, Sanjuro, Rushmore, Rashomon, Traffic, Royal Tenenbaums, uh, Videodrome, Life Quite with Steve Zissou, Naked, Yee Yee, Days of Heaven, The Ice Storm, Bottle Rocket, Che, Paris, Texas, Hunger, Thin Red Line, Pass the Glory, which I believe is my uh, first ever Criterion, I think. I uh, have Darjeeling Limited, Antichrist, Fish Tank, Kez, The Killing, Secret Sunshine, 12 Angry Men, Being John Malkovich, Weekend, Life is Sweet, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and Scanners. So yeah, there are all the Criterions. Uh, kind of a modest collection, but um, I honestly think I've got most of the uh, Criterion releases that I'd ever want. I do want to get a uh, Don't Look Now, but I'll probably wait till that's down in price. Maybe uh, next year's B&N sale, maybe. And then we have, uh, go on to the uh, Arrow video releases. We have Bay of Blood. Uh, obviously now I am just kind of like explaining, like kind of reading off the titles, but <laughs> a big drum little China. Obviously only for kind of like the, uh, that's kind of the smaller kind of sub-collection I have. Class of Newcomb High, uh, Deep Red, Deranged, Frank and Hooker, Fun House, Myself Hell, People Under the Stairs, Red Scorpion, The Stuff, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 uh, big box set. Very, very nice set. That is also have the, uh, of course, the With Nell and I set, which is downstairs, so I won't bother getting, bringing that up. Then we have a couple of just Arrow, uh, sorry, just one Arrow Academy release. We have Cinema Paradiso. Then we're going to the uh, three uh, Eureka titles, Master of Cinema titles I have. We have Kubrick's Fear and Desire, Lindsay Anderson's If, and um, Someone's Waking Fright. I don't know <laughs> who directed that. And then we go on to the um, uh, Studio Ghibli films. Obviously, Spirited Away is uh, here. Just haven't put in the collection yet. So these are just in my uh, just last uh, um, Blu-ray update. So yeah, move these down. I'll get more space. I'll put you down one second there. And then we go on to the uh, Studio Ghibli. We have uh, every, I think, more or less every release, but I think there might be one or two that I haven't got yet. And obviously, I'm still um, uh, on the lookout for the uh, Ponyo set for the ch for cheap. Uh, I always go into CEX because I know I got um, Secret Secret World of Arietti. I got at CEX for I think it was well, I paid nothing, but I think it would have been I think twelve fifteen pounds. Uh, Ponyo. I think someone not like the cheapest. Uh, someone uh, selling on Amazon for about sixty quid. I think or maybe seventy quid. Uh, there's no possible way I'm paying that, but hopefully it'll come into CEX uh, sometime. Uh, so yeah, I think every Blu-ray release, uh, I do have a few uh, DVDs, but I don't really need them because I've just got the Blu-ray release. Obviously there's a few that are only on DVD, like uh, only yesterday. And uh, there's another one as well, I can't recall the name. Uh, then we go on to the Disney's. Obviously it's uh, a much smaller uh, Disney collection now. Now that Because uh, before I used to... Um, Kind of get the Amarays and keep the get the steel books, but keep them sealed because I already had the Amarays. But then I uh, came into some financial trouble. I'll leave it at that. And I just I thought there's no point kind of keeping these Amarays when I can flog them. Uh, so I did so I did sell quite a lot of them to CEX and got about uh, well with some other Blu-rays. So it wasn't all Disney's. I got um, but just over 125 pounds, which is very very good. Uh, so we got Snow White and the Sleeping Beauty, which is the uh, I think I'm going to be keeping these ones because they're quite rare now. I uh, paid twenty. I paid twenty quid each for those, so forty quid uh, 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 in one in one go. And then we have a Sword in the Stone, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. Um, I'm going to keep Aladdin because my because it's my because it's my absolute favourite Disney film. Uh, Lion King, Fantasia 2000, Emperor's New Groove, Bolt, The Wild, Princess and the Frog, and the UK and US edition of Frozen. And then we have a uh, Robin Hood. Up. And then we go into the Pixar. We have Up, Wally. -E. Uh, Monster University, Alice in Wonderland, Heavyweights, uh, then we're going to the uh, live action Disney films, Heavyweights, Tron, Legacy, Maleficent and Oz the Great and Powerful. And then we're getting to the uh, very naked um, uh, part of the video, no, no, the very naked um, Sony Collector Series. Um, again, I've 
could get rid of these now because there's just no point. I'm not going to get all of them. They don't have slip, so there's no point in kind of bothering with them now. Uh, they've got a taxi driver, bridge on the river Kwai, stand by me, Gandhi, easy rider, midnight express, boys in the hood, uh, dust boot, closing cuts of the third kind, Doctor Strange love, and crutch like hidden dragon. And then we go on to the slip covers. Oh yeah, slip covers are separate. It's just something I do. I just don't. I don't like the look of kind of slip covers in uh, in the same. Uh, lot as uh, regular editions. I'm going to start with uh, 12 Years a Slave. I could get rid of this really because I do actually kind of prefer the UK slipcover to this one. It actually has something to it where there's just literally a piece of cardboard. Then I'm going to find a 50-50. Again, I'm not going to uh, explain all of these, but then we have a quick uh, uh, scan there. Amazing Spider-Man, which I, yeah, I don't know if I'll keep that to be honest. Uh, attack the block, uh, bait, this is a very uh, low budget kind of shark horror film. Uh, Batman again, Dark Knight, the uh, re repressing, reprint, whatever you want to call it, which is actually, I believe, the first thing I ever unboxed on this channel. Uh, those over two years ago. And Bloodsucking Freaks, Blue Ruin. I have a couple of, a uh, few uh, screen factories in here. I could have put them together, but I've only got like two or three, because that's, that's, that's the thing, there's no, not much point really. Uh, the Butler, Carrie, Cloud Atlas, Continents vs Zombies, which is the wrong way around. Uh, create the kind of uh, Coraline crazies, and of uh, some random uh, 3D discs I'm getting rid of. Uh, the Outlaw Pass incident, which is called Devil's Pass, I believe, in the everywhere else. Kind of Evil Dead is the Evil Dead trilogy. Then I got the uh, US edition of the re of the re reboot, and then uh, the UK Sainsbury's exclusive edition of the reboot. Now I've got two versions of Fallen in Our Stars. I just love uh, the slipcover and the Little Infinities edition from the US, so I've kept it. And the Flowers of War, which I've probably like the old, one of the oldest Blu-rays I just haven't watched yet. <laughs> I believe it's got a uh, re-release. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, which I picked up for £10 uh, recently from Amazon. Very good deal. Then we have The Hobbit. I expected. All right, this is kind of a confusing because it has... Uh, I've got The Hobbit, the ex ex Unexpected Journey, then I've got Hobbit and then... I've got The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, regular regular 3D edition, and I've got The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, extended edition on 3D. And then we've got Hubble with Shotgun, Hooligan Factory, stuff like that. Ill Manners for you. Uh, Jackass 3, which is the only uh, Jackass film on Blu-ray, I believe 3.5 is, but um, it's kind of annoying really, and they're confidential. I have Life for the Beth, Lincoln, uh, Law Clause of Salem. And we're going to the uh, next one. So it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> Man of Steel, Mandela. So uh, re reposition myself. That's mud. You can't really see it because because of, of the sun, which I still haven't seen. Uh, but I really really do need to get around to that. I mainly got the uh, the uh, US version of that because we lose a couple of special features. Uh, we had no commentary, and I believe one or two uh, featurettes are missing. And Notorious, which is the uh, not the. Um, Hitchcock film, it's the uh, one about uh, Biggie Smalls. Mm, Pacific Rim, Paranorman. I still can't decide whether Paranorman is my favourite animated film of all time. It might be, but it definitely is one of them, but it might be my all time favourite. Yeah, Predators, Prisoners, Pusher, Quartet. Obviously, these are in alphabetical order. Uh, there must be uh, one miss. Oh, it has to be uh, Rise of the Planet of the Eight, which is, again is downstairs. And then we have it. Shaun of the Dead, the Age of Exclusive Slipcover. Then I've got the uh, two editions of Short Term 12. Definitely one of the best films of the year. Um, basically, I got the US edition before. Um, uh, it also contains quite a, f well, a lot more special features than the UK version does. It also includes the original short film that the uh, feature film is based on. Uh, so I'm going to keep in those. But uh, I wanted to keep the UK version because it is a very, very nice slipcover and it's quite different as well. I've Sightseer, Sleepaway Camp, Snowpiercer. Particular now, uh, again a few I still haven't seen. Um, I think Star Trek I haven't seen yet. And the last shelf, I think it fell over there. And we have Toxic Avenger 1 and 2, that is under the skin. Again, I can't really, can't really tell from the light, but that's what it is. VHS, 1 to the Punch, Wild Bill, Wolverine, Zero Dark 30, Zodiac. Then we have the uh, uh, Marvel slip covers. We have Iron Man 3, Captain America, uh, Winter Soldier, and Thor. Then we have the uh, Zabby exclusive Blu-ray of Open Grave. We have the h &E Window Box of Atonement and Spartacus. Uh, Alan Carr, some uh, uh, light, uh, 
stand-up comedy shows. Uh, remember, got those all these Alan Carr and Steve Merchant ones from uh, the Pound Shop last year. Ow. <laughs> uh, we have uh, uh, Rush the uh, Time Machine Tour 2011. Then we have Rush the Clockwork Angels Tour. I believe it was last year. Then we have the uh, so the last uh, few Blu-rays in my collection are the um, Diamond Lux editions from Zavi. So uh, yeah, that is it really. And those four are Batman, Gone with the Wind, The Green Mile, and Gremlins. So yeah, that is it. Then I also have um, some random uh, titles that I just haven't put in the collection yet, but were included in my last. Uh, in my last. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that's good. Blu-ray update again. Some uh, 3D 3D discs. I'm flogging. And we have uh, the Spirited Away and the four and then the four things I took off the shelf. So. Uh, Yep, that is it. So that is my uh, complete uh, Blu-ray collection. Uh, now this video did, has gone on for a bit too long, or long, uh, much longer than I wanted it to. But there we have, there, the, that's the way the cookie crumbles I suppose. Uh, I wanted to give kind of some detail of what I had. And there's just some random DVDs outside. It's actually uh, took the door off this room, it's just because uh, the door was just getting in the way. Uh, it really was. He was like out. He was like out here, basically, which was not very good. So I, you see that it's about out to here from the door, or from the door frame at least. It's easy enough to get off though. Anyway, besides the point. So uh, yeah, that is my uh, Blu-ray collection. So a lot of titles. Now I think counting uh, each kind of uh, big box set as one, I think I have about near enough 400. I think I believe. I think I. Um, yeah, I think when I um, basically what I do, I put the uh, put the t uh, the titles in um, a alphabetizer to work. Uh, so I just don't want to do it, and then it kind of tells you how many uh, lines you put in. I think I saw it's like three hundred and seventy-five. I think so, uh, but that wasn't with all of them. So more or less four hundred, maybe even, maybe even four fifty. I'm not quite sure. Um, uh, yeah, it is a bit too big. I think. Uh, there are there are some titles which I just haven't watched yet. A title as well I can never decide, never, never can decide whether I watch them again or not. Obviously there are a few I can take out because they're I'm getting the steel box, but then that's that's more space. But uh, that's the way it is, I suppose. That's the way I am. That's the way I'm staying. Well, probably unless uh, something else comes up which I need to flog a lot of uh, Blu-rays for. Then again another quick scan. Uh, and again, the uh, artificial eye releases. Then we have Criterions. And we have Arrow and uh, Ghibli and Disney. And then Sony Collector Series and slip covers all the way from slip covers all the way from Twelve Years a Slave to sorry, bend down there to um, uh, Zodiac. And then we have the. Uh, Things as well. Uh, so yeah, that is it for my Blu-ray collection overview 2014. Uh, obviously I'll be probably do another one of these about this time next year, uh, but I might do kind of an in-depth one for that maybe. Uh, I might wait for, um, for, for five years on YouTube if that ever does come about uh, to do kind of a really in-depth one. Uh, but yeah, that is my uh, overview so I hope you enjoyed it um, obviously any of, the, any of the titles you feel like commenting on please do so in the comment section down below uh, yeah not much more to say really uh, it's quite a big collection like I said uh, it could have been could, could be quite a bit smaller but there you go so uh, yeah that'll about do for this video so thanks as always for watching uh, please subscribe if you haven't already some people kind of do uh, search for um, Blu-ray overviews and they might see this one, so subscribe if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that'll about do for this video, so thanks as always for watching and have a great day.